Hi everyone, we are now in our sixth step of the accounting cycle and I want you to know that we are now preparing the financial statements starting from the income statement. Dahil nga na kompleto na natin yung preparation ng worksheet last time. So here's our worksheet. Wow! Yan. Uh, ready na tayo mag-prepare ng financial statements natin. Ang worksheet ang nagpapadali ng preparation ng financial statements since na-extend na natin doon sa uh, income statement and balance sheet columns yung mga amounts na kailangan para magawa natin yung financial statements na yun. Note that financial statements are to be presented at least annually kahit once a year lang or when it is required by the company or other users of the financial statements. Start tayo with income statement. It is also called the profit or loss statement or the statement of financial performance. Ito, um, dito natin mapapresent lahat ng items ng income at expenses sa isang period in a single statement of comprehensive income or in two statements. Pwedeng dalawa. Kasi meron comprehensive income. Start tayo sa income statement. What we'll need now is another clean sheet of journal paper or journal. Tapos, calculator and syempre yung ginamit natin na worksheet last time. In the company's worksheet we prepared last time, we have the column for income statement. Now, ang gagawin natin is to get our journal and lalagyan na siya ng heading. Ang heading natin is first, syempre, the company name wedding or as income statement and for the month ended May 31, 2020. Tapos, what we'll do next is to write first gross revenues in ang title and then consulting revenues because our service is for wedding. So, consulting revenues as saan siya? So, ito, ang consulting revenues natin the amount is ayan, 62,400 pesos. Ayan, 62,400 pesos. Ito transfer natin siya sa income statement natin. Consulting revenues. So, ayan, 62,400. Hindi natin kailangan maglagay ng debit and credit kasi uh, financial statements na ang ginagawa natin. So, since uh, consulting revenues is a loan, wala na siyang kasama, dito na natin siya ilalagay sa second column. Next natin is the expense or operating expenses natin. Kasi wala na tayong kasamang revenues, ba? Ang ilalagay lang naman natin dito ang amounts ay yung mga nasa income statement column natin. So, start na tayo sa expenses. Kapag nilagay natin yung operating expenses, magsistart tayo sa pinaka malaking amount ng expense. So, ito yung mga expenses natin. Ito, yung column na to, which is starting from the salaries expense, supplies expense, rent expense, utilities expense, depreciation, expense for service vehicle, for office equipment, Miscellaneous, wala naman. Tapos, interest, expense. Now, what we'll do is to arrange them from the greatest to least. So, ang pinakamalaki nating amount is salaries expense, which is 15,600. So, ito transfer natin ulit siya kay income statement. Salaries expense, 15,600. Dito tayo sa first column natin. Since Marami sila. I-add muna natin lahat ng operating expenses before natin ilalas sa revenues natin. Kasi di ba revenues less expenses is equal to the profit. Kailangan natin makuha yung profit ng company and ma-confirm natin na similar ang profit na nakuha natin sa worksheet which is 26,900 profit siya. Di ba? 
So, 26,900. Kung tama ba talaga. Tayo. Now, um, next natin sa salary expense na mas malaki sa lahat is 4,400. It is the utilities expense. So, utilities expense, ayan, 4,400. Tapos, next yung 4,000. Yung 4,000 is supplies. Ayan, supplies expense siya. So, ayan, basta sunod-sunod yung amount nila na itatransfer natin dito sa income statement. And then, kapag ito total mo na siya, ilalagay mo sa ilalim ng lahat ng expenses, i uh, ano mo siya, no? I-indent mo pa. So, total operating expenses. Tapos, next column yung total nila para magkatapat si revenues and the total operating expenses. So, yung amount na to, this is the income from operating activities or operating income. Dito mo siya ilalagay sa part na to. Dito sa buhet. Kasi, kailangan natin uh, maging aware sa mga intentions ng mga titles. Tapos, after nun, diba, ayan, ilalas na natin sa 62, kay 62,400, si 32,000 na expenses natin. Total nito yan. So, the answer will be 30,400. Now, what we'll do is to less the finance costs. Kung napansin nyo, hindi natin nilagay yung interest expense, which is 3,500. Ayan. Hindi natin siya nilagay. Bakit? Kasi finance cost siya. So, ililess pa natin siya from the operating income natin. So, finance cost, interest expense is 3,500. Ang profit na lalabas na, ito na yung mismong sagot. So, tama ba? Ang nakuha natin is 26,900. Kukumpare natin siya dito. So, ito. Diba? So, tama yung nakuha nating profit sa worksheet. Next natin is the financial statement na uh, statement of financial position. So, ito na yung mismong income statement natin. Ito na yung mismong income statement natin. And this is this is how easy it is to prepare. To prepare this, basta presence of mind, tapos yung arrangement ng expenses, and you know, the use of calculator. You can do it. Ganun lang kabilis i-prepare ang financial statement unless meron tayong makitang error or meron tayong kailanganin ng makitang error dahil hindi natin makuha yung amount na nasa worksheet yung hindi ba similar yung profit na nakuha mo. It's either may mali kang amount, it's either may number na hindi tama or na sobrahan ka sa zero or kinulang ka sa zero. So, dapat talaga um, you are looking with focus, you are doing it with concentration para hindi ka nauulit pa. Kasi kapag nagkamali ka sa financial statements mo, hindi pwedeng basta-basta ka lang nagbubura. Saka mas maganda pa rin talaga yung malinis na malinis yung pagkakagawa mo. Hindi lang dahil student ka na baka mabawasan yung score mo dun sa uh, task na yun. But because you are preparing for the future time na pag nagwo-work ka na, dapat malinis yung work mo. Unless, uh, syempre, di ba, meron na tayong mga accounting software, so mas madali na sa atin kasi backspace lang, mabubura na agad yung amounts. Hindi kagaya ngayon, uh, kapag handwritten, syempre, kailangan maingat tayo sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. So, move on na tayo, doon na tayo sa uh, statement of financial position.